Welcome to Memorial Cooking Innovations. I'm Tim Scallon, Registered Dietitian. And I'm Manuel Marini, Executive Chef. So now that the holidays are over and the days are getting longer and we can play outside more, we can start working off some of those calories that stuck to us from the holidays. Calories stuck to us, <laughs> Tim? Okay, so, so I, uh, Chef Manny, I had one of our viewers stop me the other day and she said, you look a lot bigger on TV. And so, Chef Manny, I'm on TV. Do I look bigger to you? You know what, Tim? I did not want to say that. Tell no, me. I'm just kidding. I'm just <laughs> kidding. But you know what they say, TV adds another 20 pounds. Oh, I was... And per camera, so you look at how many cameras we're shooting this with. So uh -oh. you're putting a little weight there. Uh-oh. Uh, I was hoping it was just her widescreen TV. Oh, it could be. <laughs> okay, so Chef Manny, tell us what we're cooking today. So we're going to do a nice winter vegetable stew. Mm. And I want to kind of talk about some of the vegetables that we're going to use in. Okay. A lot of people are not familiar with it. They think it's basically a decoration during the holidays and stuff. Yeah. But that's something very good for us to eat, especially when it gets cold. We have yeah. cold days. Yeah. So that'll be nice. And then I thought, you know, we're coming into the, the month where we got to make heart a nice month. heart month. Yeah. You know, it, it, is, it is, you know, January, and, February, you and, know. And I'm thinking chocolate. And I'm thinking Valentine's, and okay. I'm thinking, you know, so I, I told you I would help uh, show you a nice, simple, but elegant dessert, and yes. that's going to be fun to make. Ooh, I can't wait to and see And this, this is where everybody's going to have fun. Everybody's going to be able to do their own creative idea, you know what I mean? So right. I want to share that with them. Okay. So I right. think it'll be awesome. Okay, well, let's do it. Let's All do right. it. I'll, okay, so what are we doing first? Okay, the, the winter vegetable soup, we're going to add some uh, winter squash, okay? Okay. And All I want right. to, I cut these in half because... Uh, um, to show everybody what they are. So here, right. what is so, this, Tim? Well, you taught me this uh, today. This is an acorn squash. Exactly. So this is nice, nice okay. skin. Okay. So in the in the center, so it looks kind of like a pumpkin, actually, a small pumpkin. Okay. Exactly. This one right here is. This is. What'd you tell me? This is a spaghetti squash. Very good. Nice okay. spaghetti squash. I, what I did okay. is cut it in the middle. I just want to show the inside okay. of it. Okay. All right. This is also from the same family as the acorn squash. This okay. one has a real thicker shell, and we're going to play with this one. Okay. Okay, and then what is this one, Tim? Okay, this one is a butternut squash. Excellent. Okay. Beautiful color. And you know, and rich. You know, people in, in the East Texas area are not real familiar with winter squashes. Now, our viewers in Minnesota, you guys know winter squashes. But, but these are foods that are a little unfamiliar to us. And, so, and that's why, you know, every time you go to the grocery store, you see them and you yeah. say, okay, what can I what do is with that? it? Yeah. And that's what. Now, the trick to this, we, okay. we said we wanted to do something totally different. Yes. Introduce something. I mean, we're yes. not only are introducing this. Some people yeah. are familiar with one or the other. Okay. A plantain. You know, one of the things we do on Memorial Cooking Innovations is, is we make uh, ingredient substitutions to uh, lower the fat and the sodium content. Well, that's one of the ways that we... We, uh, we teach people. But another way that we make healthy eating interesting is we introduce new foods. So a plantain is in the banana family. It's a type of banana. But you know, when I see this in the grocery store, not being familiar with the fruit, I think, you know, it's, it's rotten. It's, it's, it's an overdue it's over banana. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So but, why are they yeah, keeping it here? Yeah, but actually, uh, the, the green plantain, the, all stages of ripeness, whether it's green, yellow, or black, can be used in cooking. So even these, when they turn completely black, you can still use them. Uh, the green ones are more starchy and firm flesh, and it'd be more like a potato. Uh, and so that's, this is the one we're going to use in the stew today. Yeah. And then as they get yellow and black... They the, start releasing sugar. That's right. And that's what's causing them. It's just like a regular banana. Makes when them you, sweeter. Exactly. So when you see a nice banana where it's green, it's green. And mm -hmm. then it turns yellow. Yeah. And then when you start seeing spot, the sugar is actually coming out of the bit so they're yeah. a little sweeter yeah so so, so yellow and, and uh, black plantain you'd use in sweet desserts exactly okay so but we're going to add it to our winter uh, stew Soup. there yeah so okay. that'd be nice i got some potatoes i got okay. some nice sweet potatoes which we talk about all the yeah. time yeah very good for you very nutrient dense food. very good so yeah. then of course you got your celery and your onion so we'll basics in a stew let me pull the chicken out let's talk about our chicken real quick all right the recipe calls for quarter chickens yeah cut and, and and skinned and skinned and i brought this is what something that we find in typical you know grocery store yeah but you don't want the skin no in fact uh chicken skin it has a type of cholesterol in it that is worse for you than pork fat 
So we always want to skin the chicken. And notice as Chef Manny is skinning the chicken, he's also uh, looking to remove the pockets of fat in between the skin and the meat. And this is important. Now, sometimes yeah. now, it, it might be a little hard, it, so we're going to have to use our, our cutting board and just maybe scrape some of it off, okay? Yeah. Yeah, but and the, the less we have, the better for us. That's right, because because uh, just like bacon fat, you know, we don't want to eat bacon fat because it clogs our blood vessels. Well, this chicken skin is worse for us than bacon fat. It's that bad. It's kind of hard to do it when you're using gloves to <laughs> slip away, but and it's just safer. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so here, just be always be careful. Put your knife there down you and go. it comes out like that, okay? okay? So, if you don't mind, Tim, yep, can you yeah, get the olive oil? oil I don't you. want to contaminate okay, little, everything. Little oil. Little oil. Okay. Just like you always say, just a yeah, little. Just a little. All right, okay. I'm going to go ahead and drop them. But you're going to help me while I do the vegetables, Tim. Okay. I like for you to kind of keep an eye on the chicken, okay? Okay. And All the right, whole I idea of the recipe is that we're going to brown the chicken really good, okay? Okay. All right. All right, Tim. Now we got the garlic. Chicken looking good. We got the celery and the onions. Yeah. I'm going to add a pinch, okay? Let me yeah, tell you why I'm going to add a pinch. Just a pinch, just to yeah. kind of bring up some, a few of the flavors, yeah. all right? You know, when you add a pinch of salt, you bring flavors out. Pepper is good, by the way. Yeah. When you salt. add too much salt, it overpowers. You all just right. get salt. If you keep stirring that, Tim, okay. I'm going to go ahead and start with the rest of the vegetables. Okay. Now, one of the things about the, the winter uh, stew would be to uh, add the, start adding the first vegetables that take longer, which would be your potatoes and your, yeah. and your sweet potatoes. Yeah. So. Yep. While I do this real quick, if you don't mind keeping an eye on that okay. chicken. And, and you know, in, in this dish, an exception to that rule is, you know, you always cook the things, the hardest things, put them in the pot first so they have longer to cook. Exactly. Everything ends up being done together. But the exception to that rule is your onion and celery and garlic. We want flavor. Yeah, that's and that's the reason. And you, you do want them soft. Yeah. I mean, you don't yeah. want them, you know. Yeah. And and it's okay if your onion and your celery and your garlic kind of cook into the stew. Whereas these you want actual pieces that are going to be part of the stew. Nice chunk. So if you don't mind, I'm going to add it. We're just going to yeah. stir in some flavor. Now notice I have to comment on your on how you're cutting this squash because you know, for the viewers on TV, they don't know how hard this is. And, and you know, it's, a, it's run, a tough It, it's it a is tough a tough core. one. Make sure your knife is sharp. Pay attention. You know, I wasn't mm -hmm. looking anywhere. Just pay attention to what you're doing. But, and then we're going to set it to the side. But, but I, want, I, want to, I want to just make a comment on what you were doing because you went through that so fast that notice that he's cut a flat surface here so he can set it down and then he's cutting, he's actually... So it doesn't roll. Yeah, you've, you, you, can, it's, you can work with it that way. And see, I didn't know how to do that until you showed me. Yeah, so that's what we talk about all the time. This mm -hmm. is an example. Okay. Cut the end. Now this one's somewhat... This is probably the last one we're going to put in there, okay? Yeah. This is the, uh, the spaghetti squash, okay? Yeah. So now it's too big, so yeah. it doesn't hurt. There you Cut go. it in half. There okay? you go. So, so you're you're cutting it down to size, you might say. Yeah, just something that you're comfortable with, yeah. really. Yeah. You know, that's all yeah. you want. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the seeds off. So you're going to scoop that middle out. Scoop that out. middle out. Okay. Now let me tell you, um, I was talking to my mom when you and I talked about what we're going to do. Yeah. Now it's going to tell, because my mom does this all the time, especially during the December, January, you know, when it's mm -hmm. nice and cold. Mm -hmm. And we enjoy it so much. But my mom likes to scrub the skin and cook it with the skin. And that's not a oh, bad really? thing. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So your acorn squash, your spaghetti squash, you, you, you scrub it skin real good because it holds a lot of dirt and stuff like that. Yeah. Just typical. Now, see, I didn't know that. So, so winter squash, you, the skin is edible. It's just tough. It's just tough. But when you cook it, it softens up. Yeah. So okay. We do okay. that. So here, now this is a tricky one because you got such a, yeah. a, a rounded corner. Yeah, so no what one. I like to do with this one is to just to go start off like this. Yeah. Take your time. Always take your time. Okay. See, this is this is. Now see, I'm learning on this. I was gonna. I wanted to see how you were gonna do this. Okay. Now, once I get this part, let me put that to the side. What I, what I do is. Slowly, I just go back and forth, okay? Like yeah. I said, just take your time. And watch your fingers. And it'll come out like that, see? Yeah, okay, all right. So that's a fun thing so to do. So this one's a little harder. You, this yeah. is going to take some practice, so, so we've all but got practice. But that's probably why my mom needs the skin on. Yeah. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? Me. But me. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We grew up eating it. Yeah. And it's really good. Well, in fact. So, I the, mean, if you're, if you're willing to try it once, I mean, just scrub it really, really good, mm -hmm. and then just take the seeds off and just chunk it like that. 
Okay, so Chef Manny, you're uh, you're ready for the carrots now. I'm ready for the carrots. And now it is a hard vegetable, but I want it to be a little crunchy. Okay. okay. The celery and the onions, yes, I wanted to sweat them, make them soft. But this right here, I'm just gonna do real quick. So really, you, he's making some uh, some choices here that are really to your, my your your taste. My, my taste. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't hurt so much. Okay. Again. You're gonna cut We're going to cut it in half like and that. then cut it flat, okay? Okay. Now, I do want to share something. Let me do this one real, real quick. You know, I am getting a lot faster at cutting vegetables at home, just, just from watching you. And, you and know, I always tell you, just, you know, make sure your knife is sharp. And pay attention. And pay attention to what yeah. you're doing, okay, Tim? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Again, I told you one of the, the butter, butternut squash we're going to save last because it cooks quick, okay? Yeah. But all the other ones, the butternut and acorn right here, we're just yep. going to go ahead and throw that in. Okay. Okay, I want to talk about this acorn squash. This okay. thing is hard. It's that real hard. hard. It's okay. real hard. Now, it's a real good uh, vegetable. So what yeah. I want to do, and like I said, it's real, real hard. Now, this one. There we go. You know, you're going to have to cut it in chunks, okay? Okay. And, it, and we're going to put it in, scrub it really good, and we're going to go stick it in there. Okay, now, I'm going to show almost. you later on, okay? It's almost like a turtle shell. It's well, so hard. Well, or even a, almost a coconut, huh? Yeah, so I'm not really like this one. And look at the nice, rich color. Beautiful nice vitamins. Color. Okay, yep. so yep. this is what we want, and you're going to have fun. Like okay. I said, my mom always leaves the shell, I mean, the skin mm -hmm. and everything, washes it really good and throws okay. it in there. So okay. I want to throw that in there, okay? So, all right, all right. We're gonna, that's good enough. Okay. All right. Looking good? Yeah, looking all right. good. Now, do you want some vegetable broth in here? I sure do, and I got the all vegetable right. broth right here. Tim? You know, you know, vegetable broth is one of those things. You know, we used to, in the old days, when we were making soup, we would just add water. But why? It's what you taught us. Why add water when you can add a low sodium vegetable broth? And you know, you've seen us use this before. I'm not promoting this brand. I'm just saying the key element on this uh, item is low sodium. Okay, How's so that? That's perfect. Looking okay. good. Okay, you want uh, you want. I got some... a nice little foil that I want to just cover and now, let it simmer real quick. Okay. Okay, you so want to cook it a while before you add your plantain and your parsley. Exactly. Because the plantain is not going to take that long. Yeah. And it is going to suck up some of the broth, but okay. I want that to cook. So let's give it about fifteen minutes or so. Okay. And then we'll add our plantains and our uh, and uh, parsley. And and parsley and, and of course the... uh, spaghetti squash. Oh, okay, okay, all okay. right, all right. All right, Tim. Okay, okay good. So Beautiful. Good. Hold that All for right. a minute, Tim. Yeah. Okay, now, so. we're going to add this butternut squash, okay? Yeah. It won't take, like I said, it won't take that long. Okay. And this is where we're going to add the plantain, Tim. All right. Good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the two ends off, score it right down here. Okay. Now, again, the skin is also it's not as easy as the regular banana, okay? Yeah, yeah. Which is nice. It's a nice and yellow color. And, and, you know, the flesh of this is really more like a potato. Is that what you would say? Yeah. You know, it's one of... Um, I mean, it's not like it's a like banana. It's like a yucca plant also. It, yeah. I'm just going to slice See, it, it like a banana, okay, Tim? It cuts pretty easy. But but it's definitely... It'll suck up it's all got your some saliva. Crunch. <laughs> it's got some crunch. It's, it's, it's starchy. <laughs> It'll suck it's very up. starchy. It'll dry you up fast. Mm -hmm. So we're going to add that, okay? It yeah. won't take that long to cook, okay? So now okay. we've got everything in there. Oh, my parsley. Parsley, yeah. yeah. You know I'm not going to let you forget I, that I know parsley. that. I know that. You <laughs> said, man, don't forget your <laughs> you, parsley. You got me started on parsley. And what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna, what I want to do, Tim, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do just like with you and a little bit of what I like, and that is we're going to put half of it and then the other half we're going to save, okay? I just want okay. the green color, okay? You know, and I'll, plenty of, I'll put plenty of parsley there, Tim. All right, now, you know, it's a shame that we Americans relegate parsley to a plate decoration. This parsley, if you ever take a bite of fresh parsley, uh, there is all kinds of flavor in it. Well, in Memorial Cooking Innovations, if we're reducing the fat, reducing the salt, the flavor of that parsley is really right giving you something. So, not just a couple of tablespoons in here. No, uh, good, good quarter to half cup in this stew and you're adding flavor color and especially nutrition one thing that we added also was the, the bay leaves i added the bay leaves to the uh, uh, vegetable stock because yeah. the recipe calls for bay leaves yeah now we don't use 
you know, the whole bay leaf. But one yeah. of the most important thing to do is when you do bay leaf, mm -hmm. pull it out. Make sure you, if you put oh. one or two, remember yeah. we talked about it a couple of times? Yeah. Pull it out because it's... Before you serve it. Yeah, before you serve it because you don't want somebody it's, choking on it's it. Tough. It's tough. It's, it's a sharp edge. It's one of those things, you know? Mm -hmm. So yeah. either that or if you go to the store, get some grounded. Yeah, you know, I've seen we that use recently. It. We I use didn't, that. We I use that here on the recipes. We okay. just use it because it's safe. So, yeah. But you do get that flavor out of it. Okay, so you want to cover this up? Yeah, let's go ahead and cover it, and we'll let it simmer for a few minutes. And guess what? What? Remember I told you you want to make a nice, simple dessert, but yet elegant? Yes. We're going to get started on that. Okay. So we got a nice double boiler, right? Yeah, yeah. So just so everybody will know, this is what, if you let me move this back yeah. a little bit, if you don't yeah. mind, Tim. We'll put it yeah. right there. A double boiler is pretty simple. You got hot water, okay. and you got an pot and on top let, of it. And let's show them. So, so you got a, basically a pan inside a pan, and the bottom pan has water in it that's uh, boiling. And then, and so, you, when would you use the double boiler? Chocolate. Okay. You know, melt chocolate. It, um, you know, if you want to make a nice cream, anything that you don't want burning. Yeah. You know, like you're reheating something that would yeah. be good, like a nice cream soup. Okay. The stew that we're gonna do again. Yeah. You want to just. Heat it up and make sure and you, you stir it don't constantly. Don't worry about it burning. Exactly. Okay. So right. it's just a nice method of it. But remember, when you're reheating something, the faster you reheat it at a proper temperature, the better it is, okay? It's not just put it in there and wait till it's done, okay? That's not okay. the purpose of it. Okay, now this chocolate is... I'm going to let you handle this and be doing that while I talk about chocolate. And, you know, I'm not promoting a brand name here, but uh, what I want to show you on this label is that this is a 72% cacao. And you're looking for uh, dark chocolate that is 70 or better percent cacao. And that's important because when we talk about the health benefits of chocolate, we're not really talking about milk chocolate you know, milk chocolate or, or Snickers bars. You know, there's not a lot of health benefit in Snickers bars. Uh, what we're talking about, rather, is a dark chocolate that is closer, really, to what our grandmothers would have said is baker's chocolate. But it's still not really baker's chocolate. In fact, when, when you and I were talking about this earlier... Yeah, I showed you, you mine. Some, yeah. Exactly. And mine said 100%. Cacao. That's right. Whereas this one is 72%. And the other thing is, is in that baker's chocolate, it is all chocolate. chocolate. There's no other ingredients. So this, it's bitter. It's kind it's, of dry. I mean, mm -hmm. there's... I mean, when, it's good when for you baking. Eat it, when you eat it, it's... I mean, if you're going to bake with that, you're going to add vanilla and sugar. And all that stuff And in it. fact, this has in it unsweetened chocolate, sugar, cocoa butter. Very and, little. Yeah, and vanilla. That's right. I like that. So. And, and so when we were developing, or rather testing this recipe, uh, the first thing that we thought, you know, you were saying, well, we're going to melt this chocolate in some heavy cream. But when we tested the recipe, we found that we could uh, leave off the heavy cream and just use this Because chocolate. all the ingredients that we actually need are already in there. And Traditionally, uh, Romanoff is a little vanilla ice cream, a little bit of Grand Marnier, mm -hmm. you know, but we're going to use a low-fat um, whipped uh, topping. Whipped topping, that's right. Yeah, In fact, so. we're going to use a product that you can find at any grocery store. Uh, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a fat-free, sugar-free whipped topping. Or you can get a sugar-free vanilla ice cream. Yeah, you could All use right. that. You could we use can that. do that, but the, we'll talk about the vanilla ice cream mm -hmm. and, uh, mm -hmm. with this. The vanilla ice cream, we would have to mix the strawberries and the vanilla ice cream and then yeah. freeze it. Yeah. This, we're just going to refrigerate it until showtime. Yeah. So we're going to have fun with this. So what I want to do, we did one, our sample that we did earlier um, last week was that I cut the strawberries and sliced which was perfect, mm -hmm. but we're going to dice it up a little bit, okay? Yeah. Only well, because we're going to talk about that because we can handle it better. Yeah. Well, and also, in a Romanoff, what, what you taught me last time when we did Romanoff on a show one time is that you're literally kind of floating a fruit in a whipped topping with ice cream. And, and, uh, uh, and so if you'll cut these smaller, they'll float better in the whipped topping. Exactly. Here I got my whipped cream. Yep. We opened it earlier. Yep. So I just want to do this real quick. Okay. And we're just going to, what we're going to do is we're just going to pour some whipped cream here. Okay, Tim? All right. And then we're going to just toss it, mix it together, and then put it back in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I got my, sp let me get my spoon right here. Real quick. And I'm okay. just, just going to toss this, okay? We got, we got the uh, strawberry and the whipped cream. Yep. In the refrigerator, cooling down a yep. little bit. 
Chocolate looks good. Now, let's talk about this. Okay. Parchment paper, butcher paper. Um, wax paper. Wax paper. Okay. Works wonders. You get it in a roll, we get it in a sheet. Okay. All right? Okay. So, here's, here's what, this is where the fun part comes in. Like right. I said, you could be an original. You can do whatever you want. Maybe, I mean, I was playing with chocolate. I love playing with chocolate. All you right, know now I, mean? I want to explain what you're going to do here. Okay, so, so in this dessert, because if, when you said, when you described this dessert to me, I couldn't visualize it. So I, for our viewers, I want to tell them what you're going to do. You're about to make the neck and the wings and the tail of a swan. And then you're and then you're gonna you're gonna make those pieces out of melted chocolate. Exactly. And then and then I'm gonna refrigerate it. And then we and then we'll let you show them what you're gonna do with exactly. that. Exactly. So, okay. So, now so show us how are, to do two that. Two ways of doing it. Okay. One, first we gotta how we're gonna pour the chocolate in this, right? I don't know. That's a all good right. Question. So we can do this with the same paper, wax paper roll. You just make a cone. Okay. All right. Pretty simple. Make to make a cone. Okay. All right. So we'll pour the chocolate in there. Okay. You All right. Pour chocolate in there? Not yet. Okay. This is one way of doing it. All right. Another way of doing it is that in some grocery stores they have yeah. this available, yeah, right? Yeah, that's Tim? right. Yeah. A nice pastry bag. It's a pastry bag. A nice yeah. disposable pastry bag. They're thick plastic. Okay. Yes. Remember, this is hot. It'll yeah. melt. Okay. Okay. So this. So is, I can't use this. Yeah, we can use this. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm gonna put this right here on the side. Okay. Okay. Now I got a paper. What we're gonna do now? Imagine a wing. What does a wing look like? You know what I mean? It's your creative. You're the artist. Okay. You draw it the way you want to do it. Okay. Okay. Now what I did here. Now this I went is a into, good idea. Is, yeah, this is a nice idea because I'm not an artist. Yeah. I can draw with food. I can create very nice sculptures. But I drew mine in the computer. Okay. So, All right. So you. This so is you, just to give me an idea of where I want to do the chocolate. Okay. So two different kinds of wings. You know, you okay. can do whatever, or draw it just freehand. Now, now you know when we were testing this recipe, he he just I did it by hand. this, and they really came out pretty. That was good. awesome. I, was I mean, that's that's the whole idea. The reason why I want to do this because if what you're I not do, good at freehand, at freehand, what I do is just put it down here. There you go. Okay. And then we can kind of trace it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. It doesn't. I mean, that's what makes it so special. That's what makes it a special dessert. Okay. You took your time to do it. Okay. And this is where, I'll tell you what, if I had my six-year-old doing it, she'd have fun. Chocolate all over the place, yeah, but she'd, she'd have fun. fun. That's right. And she'd be proud of what she did, okay? That's right. So, okay. but we're going to, of course, we're going to put it like this, okay, Tim? Yeah. All right. So, now, we got our chocolate. It's melted. It looks awesome. I got a nice little spoon here. Now, we mix it real good. Oh, okay. it is perfect. It, it is perfect. So, now, yeah. what we're going to do is we're going to take it out. We're going to let it cool down a little bit. Remember I said plastic and hot yeah. don't go together? Yeah. So we want to cool it down again. If you have one of those kitchen thermometers, yeah. take the temperature, let it cool down. I'm thinking about 85, 87 degrees. It's nice okay. to where we, we can work with it right now. It's a little too hot. So we're going to just pull it to the side right here. Okay, Tim? Okay. All right. I think it's ready. Now, how do I know? It looks just uh, good. It's because you're a chef. You know you know what? I could just eat this like that. All right. Let me, let me just so I don't, you, you, want, you don't want to put it over here? No, let okay. me just show you a trick when you're using okay. the pastry bag. All right, yeah. There you go. There you got to go. fold it, okay? Gotcha. Fold okay. it like this, cover your hand. There you go. Make that pocket, okay? So now stick your hand in there, Tim. Okay, all right. Because this is going to be your baby. I already did Wait yours. Wait a minute. You're gonna, you don't want yeah. me to do this. Yeah, you do. Yeah, I do. All right. You're going to show everybody you can do it. Okay. If a dietitian can do it, anybody can do it. No, if Tim can do it, anybody can. Anybody can do it. That's exactly <laughs> That's the way right. it goes, right, That's Tim? Right. That's if right. If Tim can do it, anybody can. You didn't have to say that, you know. <laughs> But you have so much fun doing so. That's right. <laughs> I'm enjoying right. this one. All right, and I even gave you something to trace. You, you know, I wait till love I take card. wait till I take that little uh, picture out of there. Let's see how your wings look <laughs> like. <laughs> you, I was totally impressed with yours. But you know, it's right. one of those. You see? Okay, so you okay, got them so out there. All right. Now, yeah. see, now you don't make a mess. Yeah. There see what I mean? Go. And remember, okay. chocolate goes everywhere. Okay. Yeah. Here's the trick to it. We're gonna we're gonna. I'm fold squeeze it. him down. Yeah, but first we're gonna fold it. Okay. All right. We gotta, gotta take all the air out of here. Okay. And now you're gonna twist, okay? Only so that chocolate doesn't spill out. Oh, I okay? got it. Because it's liquid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So this is the best way to use it. And you're gonna put pressure here. Okay. Right now it's not coming out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna push it all the way to the bottom. 
Oh, I see. Okay. You see what I mean? Yeah. That's why I, I said it's almost like being in the healthcare is like using the syringe to take all that air get out. All, get all the air out. All right. Okay. okay. So we're good. Again, okay. twist it. All right, Tim. That's all okay. yours. All right. Now we're gonna cut the tip. All right. Bring it. Bring it against the cutting board right here. Okay. All right. You got it. Yeah. All right. Ready? One, yeah. two, three. So you really did just cut a little tip. All right. Because yeah, we want to try it first. You okay. Know? Yeah, that's right. If it's okay. too hard, it's very. No, it's okay. Yeah. Let's go a little bit long more. Yeah, thank you. Yep. Yeah, you yeah, don't want to put little, too much. Little, I didn't. I don't think closer. I even made even made it. Okay. There you go. All right. Now we know we're in action. All right. Now I've can never you see done that? this before. Okay. Can you see that, Tim? Yep, I can. All right. So I'm going to make a swan uh, wing. Okay, this is really pretty neat. You ha kind of have to learn You're to work artist. with the with the medium. But you know, you know, you know, you know. Okay, you got to make the matching because yeah, that's it, right. Got to make the matching. We always got two of everything, right? Yep. Yep. Okay. And you know, this really isn't that hard. You could get your uh, fourth grade uh, uh, son or this daughter. Is, this is where the fun comes in. Too. And and you know, they would love to do this. Might have to have a little bit more chocolate if you have, you know, younger kids because, you know, there's going to be some waste. Okay, what do you okay. think? You Perfect. think we're okay? Now let me do this real quick. All right. You're great with that. Now we're going to do the neck. Okay, do the neck for so, us. I'm going to do the neck. First you start off with the beak, and then, okay. of course, the swan has a big neck, right? Yeah. And then it has like a question mark. Whoa. Okay. You did that so well. Like a question mark. Yeah. Deal? Okay. And then right. I'm going to make your matching tail. Okay. So one of the things I forgot to mention, if you have a cooking uh, cookie pan, yeah, yeah, cookie slide, sheet, cookie sheet, yeah. slide this underneath or any yeah. flat surface, okay? Tim, we're going to the refrigerator. All right. We're gonna let it cool down All to right. get it hardened. I want to talk a little bit about the health benefits of dark chocolate. Dark chocolate is high in antioxidants, which reduce cellular and artery damage as we age. And so, when you hear the word antioxidants, it means these are molecular substances in foods that offset the aging process. They slow it down. Dark chocolate is rich in polyphenols, and these are the same substances uh, that make red wine and green tea uh, heart healthy. People with mild hypertension can benefit from eating small amounts of dark chocolate daily. What do you think, Tim? Look at your Whoa. swan. Hey. Okay. All right. Is that pretty or what? It's huh? beautiful. Is that a nice dessert or what? It is. Nice fresh strawberries, a little whipped cream, a little chocolate. I Chef Manny, like you're that. a maestro. Now, while you keep talking, go ahead and keep talking because okay. I am going to dish up mine. Okay. Well... Dark chocolate thins the blood and performs the same anti-clotting activity as aspirin. Now, I'm not saying that if your doctor has you taking aspirin, you can stop doing that. That's a doctor question. But I'm just saying that dark chocolate has a number of health benefits. Adding only half an ounce of dark chocolate to your daily diet is enough to get uh, health benefits. Uh, dark chocolate has several substances that have mood-elevating effects. And so the benefits of dark chocolate it, it are more than just physical benefits. They're also emotional. So notice how I keep saying dark chocolate. Well, this is that greater than 70% cacao that you heard me talking about earlier. We'd like to thank our friends at Brookshire Brothers, a celebration of food and community. Thanks to the H.C. Polk Education Center and Sodexo Food Service. Uh, thanks to the city of Lufkin for producing and distributing Memorial Cooking oh, Innovations. Definitely. And of course, we want to thank you, our viewers. Keep those comments coming because between you and us, we are changing the world one, one bite, bite at, at a time. time.